Yeah, my name is Abraham Montel, Joseph Junior Lawaki. I'm 17 years of age. I play Tahid Pop. I'm here. His game is it's all about his his brawn. It's all about contact. Yeah, just really like a real rugged rugby. Very silent, eh? Hey? I, I like to call him like a, like a silent assassin. He, at the moment, is really focused on his rugby. That's probably his main priority, is his rugby. Um, and school comes a little bit second. Yeah, I only come to school for rugby, eh? <laughs> um, hopefully to crack um, franchise camps. Yeah, aiming for that. My understanding is that um, conditioning, which is a big, I know it's a big thing for them, he ticks that box. What he doesn't tick for them is set piece scrums and lineouts because they haven't seen enough of them. Uh, so the reason why we um, gathered here today is um, for my auntie's um, son's baby blessing. So yeah, so when you're a host, um, especially in our culture, you've got to prep, you got to basically prep everything. Um, everything starts from the week before the event. Oh, faith is definitely is. It's one of the key roles that's played in our lives as well. Like it's something that holds our family together, our faith. Especially if we put God first in our life. Um, anything and everything is possible. Um, ever since I was little, I always had to put um, my religion first before anything else. Well, what do you want to do after you graduate? Probably do mission papers. Or probably or will. Or will. So I'll just, just depend on when I'll go. Yeah. Have you seen those missionaries? Yeah, I see for that. My family, they really want they really want me to go on a mission and stuff like that. But like for me I'm like more focused on like my rugby and like like I will like start a bit later, just try and get my rugby to where I want it. So by the time I come back I have something to fall back onto. Yeah. Man, my parents wanted me to do it when I, after when I turned 18. Eh? That's what I keep telling you. Make sure you put church first. Yep. Fulfill your calling, your responsibilities, your duties as, as a priest as well. Yep. And your thing will fall into place. Understand? Mm -hmm. yeah. First training I've had with them. Just watched them a couple of times. Pretty good. Uh, yeah. There's lots of potential uh, with Hummy. Good size. He uh, presents the physical uh, attributes that you want from a from a prop. Oh, still nervous. He still like um, still like 50-50 on there, like whether I'm whether I'm doing my best or not. Don't be fucking mad. Don't be shy that you think you uh, 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 being a pain in the ass to him. Mm. That's his job, bro. Yeah. If it was me, if someone was bugging me, it would be like, man, this guy's persistent. And two, he wants to learn. Yeah. He's focused and uh, he's a good learner. Obviously, quite fit for a, for a prop. So, you know, those those things there uh, are positive, and then it's up to how we nurture that talent. Uh, your goal is to make the Blues 18s. Yeah. Keep working on it. So I'm talking about you and things. So I took some videos of you as well. Keep working on it. If you can, uh, one thing is nail the scrum. Yeah. Right. That all starts to help us with our selection process. And uh, mate, if he if he can uh, crack that and uh, that Blues 18s, and we can keep, you know, sharing the good work that he's that he's doing, then um, you know, it'd be a good story for uh, the Lawaki family, but also for Hame uh, and Tangaroa College. When South Auckland schools play against each other, um, yeah, it's, a, it's like a final. You're going to see a very physical game. Uh, I'm expecting this game to be tougher than St Kent's. It's going to come down to discipline and nutrition, whoever can last the longest. This, this South Auckland Brotherhood will go out the window once that whistle starts and kickoff is made, you know? It's, it's, it's no retreat, no surrender rugby. Watch over us as we play this game. Victory is only one to you and we want victory. Lord. Not home grounds our first ever game, Lord. We pray that you go before us and you will lead us to victory. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Oh, my God.
The difference between both teams would be the coaching and the detail. You know, we've watched video footage of them, the team has, we've gone through the set piece, we've gone through the attack, the defense, and, and we think we've, we've got the right formula to beat these guys, you know. But that's 60-70% of it. The other 30% the boys need to produce it on the field, and what state of mind they're in when they get out there. They were sort of like late starters, you know. I don't like to be there. Keep it simple. That's all you got to do in this half. 35 minutes, just keep it simple. Yeah. All right. How can we do the score that try? We had the momentum. Who had the ball? But we didn't score. Okay. You got to make sure. Be patient. That's all it is. I tell you what. The only reason why I kept talking because I wanted it. I wanted it more. I didn't want to perform a haka to sit where this is where we stand just to lose. You know. I wanted to do the haka to sit to state this is this is our home ground you're not gonna you're not gonna take over It all came down to who wanted it the most, you know. AO didn't want to lose, man. They, 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 would, they would rather, like, they would rather forfeit the game than just, like, you know, than lose, just, like, fighting like that. They, they went all out. And Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald. Click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here and head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.